I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin, and today we'd like to explain how we use laboratory techniques to describe variants of COVID-19. As new global variants of the virus emerge, staying aware of what's circulating is one of the most important elements of our response. We've invited one of our amazing epidemiologists, Tracy Lam Hine, to explain a new process we're using in the lab to describe outbreaks and detect variants of concern. It's pretty technical stuff, but many of you have asked to know more about the science behind our strategies. Tracy is just one of the many people who work tirelessly behind the scenes to give us the data we need to keep our Marin community informed and protected. Hi, I'm Tracy Lamhine, and I'm an epidemiologist at Marin County Public Health. I'm excited to share with you two new tools that we in public health are using to track and control the spread of COVID-19 in Marin. First, I'm going to share how we use virus genetic data from the lab to detect and control outbreaks. Second, I'm going to share how you can see these data on a new dashboard on our website. Marin County Public Health and our healthcare providers have partnered with our regional lab and the state of California to do precise genetic descriptions of the virus that we find in positive tests. And this is called whole genome sequencing. This allows us to identify variants and can show when and where transmission actually occurred. So here's a little bit about how it works. In order to see what variants are circulating in the county, we sequence as many new cases as we can. We're especially interested in cases linked to an outbreak, vaccine breakthrough cases, any hospitalizations or deaths, and cases with recent international travel. Hospitals, clinics, and the public health department send samples to our lab partners for whole genome sequencing. And this process involves isolating the virus and transcribing its entire genetic code, which is much more complex than a normal PCR test which usually just detects the presence of the virus. In order to actually see how cases are connected to each other, we then map them using a technique called phylogenetic analysis, like this. Like all viruses, SARS-CoV-2 is always mutating, and usually the viral specimens from one given outbreak will be quite similar or even identical to one another, just like a clone. And so by tracking mutations or differences between the viruses, we can define who, fall, de define who falls within or outside of a given outbreak. So this is an example phylogenetic tree from a specific outbreak in Marin. The dots on the vertical lines over here and over here represent cases that are infected with genetically identical virus. And then the horizontal lines going across here show the new viruses and the next generations that emerged over time with new mutations. This shows cases that we had initially thought were part of separate outbreaks represented here by the different dot colors. But when the lab did whole genome sequencing, we saw that people from these different groups were infected with genetically identical virus, meaning that, in fact, this was just one single big outbreak. So now that we know that transmission occurred between individuals directly, our outbreak prevention and control teams can then act on this information to prevent further spread. And so this kind of analysis is becoming increasingly important as more of our community is vaccinated and the nature of the COVID-19 pandemic shifts to smaller, more localized outbreaks mainly among unvaccinated people. So here's how we're making these data usable for you to keep tabs on at home. As I mentioned, we just launched a new public facing dashboard, dashboard on the county's COVID-19 data and surveillance page at coronavirus.marinhhs.org. And so this is the dashboard, which shows the proportion of different variants of concern in the county since the beginning of 2021. And because whole genome sequencing takes some time to process at the lab, our newest data is always from samples that are collected about one to three weeks ago. I hope that this has been an interesting peek into the ways that we use whole genome sequencing to describe emerging variants and track and control the spread of COVID-19. Please take care and stay safe as we reopen. And remember, if you haven't yet, go get vaccinated. It's by far our best line of defense against all the variants that we are seeing in the county. Thank you very much.